Hello, it's Chris from Cricut. Welcome to Cricut 101. We're really glad you're here. I'm just gonna check and see if my audio is working. I've got Karen in the background. She is going, she is saying it's working, awesome. So she's going to answer some live chat questions as we go. And those of you who haven't been to Cricut 101 before, kind of the deal is we introduce the program like I'm doing now, and then we go through a pre-recorded project or an unboxing, in this case it's a project, that's specifically geared toward beginners. And then you can follow along, you can ask questions. Karen is awesome at answering all kinds of questions. She can answer them live. Uh, and then hopefully we can help you build confidence by giving you access to these kind of walkthroughs of beginner level projects and things that people might want to jump in and do right out of the box if perhaps you're not used to using a cutting machine or you've never worked with our products before. And if you guys want to come back and look at these videos again, we do archive them on demand on the official Cricut YouTube channel where you're at right now under the Cricut 101 playlist. So let's get going today we are going to go through a very simple project, kind of a gateway project, if you will, for a lot of Cricut members, which is a simple sticker, in this case, on a metal tumbler. Sorry, tumbler. So let's jump in. Okay, here we are, and here are my supplies. We have a Cricut maker, we have some vinyl, some transfer tape, we've got a roller, some scissors, what we call a weeding tool, that's that dentist looking pick that helps you get the, the vinyl out of the pattern. And we're gonna go ahead and go up to make it, and then over on the left hand side we're gonna click T for text. You can see that text box appears and I'm just gonna type in the letters I want to put on my tumbler in there. And you can move that around. Uh, you can also change the font at the top. And this is something, if you do have Cricut Access, you're gonna have hundreds of fonts to choose from up here. And a, a beginner level tip is you wanna get something fairly blocky that's easy to weed and doesn't have a lot of intricate patterns in it. So cursive's probably not the best approach for your first sticker project. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick something fairly basic and blocky. In this case, it's called Arial Black. And you can see I'm grabbing the bottom, bottom right icon of what's called the bounding box with my mouse there and making that text smaller. And you can see there is a gauge on that text that shows you how big it is in inches and how, how it's going to appear on your project. And I just changed the color because I happen to have green vinyl and I'm gonna put uh, put that on the mat. And I'm, at this point, I'm just following the green button prompts. You can see there's a continue there. I just brought down uh, my, my lettering a little bit uh, from the top of the mat. You can move it around on this screen and then I'm gonna hit continue. Connect to my maker. And here I'm going to select my material, which is vinyl, which is another way for us to say sticker or decal, just to decode some Cricut speak for you there. Again, this is a really easy beginner level project that really helps you personalize something as pedestrian as a metal tumbler. And you can put your name on it or fun sayings. In this case, I thought for the holidays, I would put be kind. Since some of us have had a tough year and I thought it was important to think about being kind for the holidays in 2020. So you can see I'm just following the prompts and I'm just gonna show you how I prep the vinyl for this project. There is my metal tumbler. I just bought this online in a set of four. Uh, you can buy them fairly inexpensively. And here, you meant, you probably saw on the canvas that it was about two inches long, my letter box. So that's, that's the size that I'm looking to put, of lettering that I'm looking to put. So a lot of people want to use something like a ruler or a tape measure just to kind of uh, eyeball that size on the, on the blank and make sure you're in the right neighborhood. Obviously, some tumblers are gonna be bigger than others. You'll wanna have bigger text. But I figured two inches was about right for this one. And now I'm just gonna cut my vinyl. And what you wanna do here is just only cut where you're gonna use because 
what you want to do is save the rest of the vinyl for another project. So that's another benefit of measuring first, is you really don't need much more than a small rectangle here uh, to get going. I probably even cut a little more than I needed to. So here I'm going to take the protective cover off the mat. You know, believe it or not, I have forgotten to do this before. It's a very common beginner level mistake. But that protective cover keeps your mat nice and sticky to put your material on. So you want to make sure you get that off before you put your, your vinyl on the mat. Okay, just sitting down at my desk here and I'm going to go ahead and put this small scrap of vinyl onto my mat and then feed it into my Cricut Maker. You can see I'm just checking the size one more time just to make sure it's in the neighborhood of what I had on my canvas. And that canvas is another word for where the design happens in our design program, which is called Design Space. So that kind of gridded background is called the canvas that you saw earlier. Got my protective sheet off. I'm going to go ahead and place my vinyl color side up in the top left hand corner of my mat. And I'm going to give it a roll with my roller here, if I can have that the right, the right way. And now I'm going to put it into my maker. And you can see I'm just holding the edge of that mat as I push the the arrow button. So you want to just have a little bit of pressure pushing that into your maker. Not a lot, but just a little to make sure that the rollers grab it and it goes in correctly. And then I hit the flashing C button, which we call the go button, uh, and the Cricut does its magic. This is the cool part where the Cricut cuts uh, a piece of vinyl, in this case, in, in a way that would be nearly impossible to cut by hand. It's very precise fun to watch, and this is what's going to give you that personalized look for your tumbler that really looks like something you might buy out of a store. It's super cool. The first time you do this, you're like, you, your, your possibilities really kind of take off and you start to think, what else in my kitchen or among the stuff I take to my office every day uh, could I personalize and, uh, and put a fun saying on it or some cool imagery or even your initials? So here's what it looks like while you're cutting in design space. It's going to uh, detect the, the blade on the Cricut Maker and give you a gauge of how you're, go how you're moving through the cut here. And she's giving you the percentage until it's finished. And once that's done, I'm going to follow the prompts. In this case, in the bottom right. I should be following them in a second. There we go. Unload material. Okay, it's in the top. Sorry, and uh, and I just uh, I just hit that dismiss button. Really, just, you just have to wait for the buttons to show up. That last one was a finish button. Oh, we seem to be having some. Oh, there it goes. Had some technical difficulties for a minute, but here I am just peeling the vinyl off of the letters and. Typically, with a, something that looks simple like this, I start by hand. A lot of people use a weeding tool for everything. It's kind of a personal preference, but I like to get the major part of the vinyl off of the backing and then go in with the weeding tool. In this case, which I'll use to take the middles out of the, the inside of the letters, like that E and the B. You see, you just start kind of take it very slowly off. It's, it comes off fairly easy. And you can see I accidentally took the eye off. And this is something you very, very common with beginners. And I'm, so I'm just going to take that piece, not a deal breaker here, I'm going to take that piece off of the extra vinyl and put it right over that eye where it belongs. So this is something you just have to be aware of. That pieces can come off as you're as you're doing the weeding, and, and sometimes you have to put it back. And this is what's a great use for a weeding tool because it allows you to prep to place that eye right where it's going to be. And you'll see when we get this done on the tumbler that that was a very recoverable mistake. You just want to make sure that you look for little pieces like that that might come off by accident when you're weeding. And that happens to everybody. Uh, it's just uh, it's something you got to keep an eye out for. And, uh, and it's easy to fix as you're going along. 
Now I'm going to get the, the middle of that E out, I believe, next. And you can see there's a, there's a solid D there that's going to need an O out of the middle as well. So I'll be using my weeding tool here to do that. And you can just kind of scrape along this, the edge of, of where, that, uh, where that piece needs to come out and, uh, and kind of get a purchase underneath it. And, uh, and often it just, that vinyl will just stick right to your weeding tool. So this is, a, this is a process, it takes a little getting used to, but it's actually quite easy. And again, as a beginner, you wanna pick something that you don't have to do a lot of weeding with. So like a, a really fancy mandala that has tons of weeding to do that could take you a few hours, probably not your best first sticker project. Uh, try something like this first, see how it feels, see how the vinyl feels in your hand, how the tools feel, how the machine is work and the sequence of instruction, and build your way up to more complex projects. Uh, it's really going to be surprising to you how fast you can gain confidence by doing these beginner level projects. And that's really what 101 is about, is trying to help you identify projects that, can, that you can finish quickly and, uh, and make look very professional in the beginning of your learning journey. So we're trying to just match you with the correct project here. Here you see I'm trimming the transfer tape. This is the tape that's going to allow me to apply the vinyl lettering to my metal tumbler. And you wanna make it the same size as your vinyl backer. And that's what I'm doing here. This is making sure that that, can, that will go over all the letters. And now I'm gonna get a purchase on a corner of this transfer tape. And sometimes this is the hardest part for me because I don't have very big nails, as you can see. Uh, but what you wanna do is get in the corner and, and start peeling that transfer tape off of the backer. Here, I got a hold of it. And what I'm gonna do is turn that over so the sticky side goes down onto my letters. Because the idea here is to get the vinyl sticker to stick to the transfer tape and then apply the lettering to your tumbler. So I've got that down on the backer, and now I'm gonna use my scraper to make sure that, it, that the, lead, the vinyl letters bond to my transfer tape. So you just wanna take that over, give it a few uh, scrapes, apply it, really apply a little bit of pressure there, and then turn it over and make sure you scrape the back as well. This will help to bond the letters to the tape and make for an uh, efficient transfer. Now I'm gonna grab that corner again with my short fingernails. And, uh, and very slowly, you'll see I'll peel this off. And this is, again, something you wanna take your time with because sometimes letters don't come up right away and you have to re-scrape them. Um, typically with something simple like this, they come up fairly easily. But you can see with that B, and I'm, I'm, I'm still stuck at the edge a little bit, so I went back, scraped, because I felt it catching. And if it's stuck in a certain place, you can kind of come around the edge of it uh, and pull from a different direction. That's another good technique. Uh, and this is just, a, again, something you'll, you'll get the feel of as you go. You can see how I'm coming around the top of that E at this point. Oh, where did my vinyl go? It's coming back, I promise. There it is. So you can see I'm coming around the other side because I had trouble with that first letter and I'm gonna start at the back. So this is a good trick to use. If you're having trouble getting a letter off, what you really need is momentum when you're pulling this transfer tape off. So sometimes the bond is a little less hard to pull off on one side or the other. So I'm just gonna go back to the back end of, of the D in kind and pull this off from the other side. And you can see I'm just using my thumb and the scraper as I go to make sure that it sticks. And there it comes. So I just worked with it a little bit. Sometimes you have to come from a different angle and now we're ready to apply to the tumbler. You can see I'm using my scraper and my weeding tool to keep the tumbler from rolling. 
And I'm just gonna eyeball this. A lot of people do use the measuring tape. I typically just use my hands and, uh, and eyeball where I want this in the design. And on a tumbler, it's good to get it up high where people can see it. Okay, now I'm just gonna give that a few scrapes. And one thing that I neglected to, to say to do, I, I just realized in the beginning of this, is I treated this tumbler with some alcohol and a uh, cotton swab just to get it super clean and make sure there wasn't any grease from my hands on it. So that's a good thing to do in the beginning to make sure you get a good bond with your vinyl sticker. Now I'm just getting the edge of that. And again, very slowly at a 45 degree angle, pulling that off. And there is my Be Kind tumbler. And again, you can do any kind of lettering you want. A lot of people do sayings, they do names. A great project for beginners and a great project for Cricut 101. All right, I'm going to pull this back over here and just check the chat and see if we've got some folks here. Yes, we do. Hello, Jeanette. Hello, Emily. Hello, Black Flower. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining. Hello, Joyce White. Hello, Rashida. How are you? This is awesome. It looks like you guys have been keeping Karen busy, and we're really glad you joined us. So make sure to tune back in to Cricut 101. We're going to do next two unboxings the day after Christmas on Saturday. The schedule is on our Cricut blog. Uh, and we're also linking to it on our YouTube page. So if you want to join us for the unboxings, do so. We're going to have a few other episodes up until January 8th. And again, all of those episodes, and I think we're going to have 24 of those episodes ultimately, are going to be archived on the official Cricut YouTube channel under Cricut 101. So if you're a beginner, tune in, check it out. We clearly label the project. So if you're interested in cards or if you have a joy or if you're interested in vinyl stickers or iron on or even in fusible ink, you can very quickly page to that episode in Cricut 101 and get a beginner level tutorial. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy holidays to everybody and we'll see you on the next Cricut 101.